Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I am Kohitsu GZ, and in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to do a battle against Garuda. So he's going to be the ne the new level 60 uh, Hoka ruler. So I believe I've gone over uh, uh, Garuda in a previous video. So if you're going to actually look at him right here. You're going to see that uh, this particular Hokura ruler is going to be susceptible to Meta, Hyado, uh, Bagi, and Dorma. And uh, just to mention, this is kind of the standard uh, Hokura for this for the level 60 Hokura, which is a clear score of 400 points. So all it is is that um, the conditions will be uh, items can't be used beyond their maximum uh, allowable capacity, uh, do with the world tree, and adult leaf for the world tree can only be used only once in this particular battle. Uh, so I'm going to be using my, uh, standard leveling party. I went over this party in a previous video on the season 2 of 2021. So I'm gonna have my ranger, uh, with mirror weapon, uh, my paladin, in this case, so the uh, Blade of the World Tree is mainly an EO weapon, but it has Burning Cleave, which actually does, which actually is a meta-based attack that actually will uh, be useful for this particular battle. So the actual Burning Cleave lowers uh, the amount of damage that uh, magical attacks will do. So hopefully, I am able to actually. Uh, uh, get that secondary ability off then also since he's going to be with Gideon Storma uh, my uh, armamentalist is going to be equipped with the dark sword of course so this should come in handy as well and then of course I'm going to have my standard healing sage so uh, with this I'm going to go into this particular battle uh, I think I mentioned in the previous video, this can, battle can go sideways very quickly. Uh, Garuda uses charm, it actually has very uh, powerful attacks in general. So, um, we'll see what happens. Uh, this could be a very easy video or it could be a very difficult video. Um, we'll just have to see how things go from here. Okay, so for this, um, I'm going to start off, of course, with my Ranger. Um, uh, Garuda has two attacks per round. Uh, standard attack, uh, Begiragon, uh, which is a powerful gear spell. Then it's going to also have, uh, Sukono Ichigeki, which, uh, actually does about 420 damage to one character. It has uh, an attack called the Ikinari Washizukami which is a sudden grab. So that actually is, uh, does two attacks uh, that do 260 damage each to random characters and also has a chance to cause uh, charm. So with charm, that actually brings uh, one of the characters on my side to the other side. Um, so if I were to do an attack uh, to all the characters on that side, uh, the character that I have charm that's charmed on my side actually will get attack as well. Then you're gonna have on the left the Mage Chimera and nice shadow mine right there. So the Mage Chimera is going to actually have two uh, one attack per turn. It's gonna have uh, Metapani, which uh, is a spell that has a chance to confuse one character. Then it's going to also have. Um, uh, Hagashi Hono, which is an intense flame that does around 120 meta breath damage to all characters. Okay. Then on the right, we're gonna have this character here, the Akairai. Um, that has two attacks per round, so a standard attack. Uh, it has uh, Bagima, which is what you just saw now, so that's a Bagi spell. Uh, that does one, about 125 damage to all characters. Okay. Alright. 
Then it's also going to have uh, the Tobikakate Kita, which is a flying leap. Um, it's a physical attack that does around 120 damage to all uh, to one character. Oh wow, that was a nice miss. Then it also has um, kind of a roar that actually induces uh, fear to all the characters as well. So uh, right now, this particular battle is going pretty well. Again, nice Paladin Guard. Let's see, probably with this, maybe... Yes, both of the side characters are down. Okay, they get it gone. But uh, attack has been lowered because of uh, Burning Cleave, so that's actually fine. So probably within the next round or so, uh, just like that, uh, Garuda is down. So um, that particular battle uh, went quite well, I would say. Uh, things actually can really go uh, go bad if um, Garuda and uh, the Akairai actually get their attacks in before my other characters. And I gotta, ah, okay, uh, C. Okay, so that was my uh, battle with Garuda. So there are actually a couple of other battles uh, with uh, Garuda. So there's a 600 uh, point battle. On uh, this particular battle, uh, it has the same conditions except there's one extra one, which all of my characters have to have a soul cost of no more than 270. Then there's also going to be another Garuda one, uh, an 800 one. So this one, I can't use items. Then there's also going to be another one, a 750. So this particular one, I have to use a armamentalist. Um, I have to use a ranger and I can't have classes, uh, any of the same classes in my party. So um, I've already meet, meet those conditions with the party I have. So that doesn't really uh, affect me too much. But uh, yeah, there's actually a lot of uh, various types of Garuda Kokoro's here. Then there's this uh, 1200 one. So this one is also uh, no can't use items and uh, the soul cost, it can't be more than 270 for each character. So uh, that's probably going to be a bit rough. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another Garuda video. Uh, if I do, I'll definitely show it. Um, I actually do have another video uh, that's from the previous season last month uh, that I did not show of uh, Gerion. Uh, that's actually a Gerion uh, 2,400 point battle. Um, there aren't any 2,400 point battles for this season, but uh, I think I'm going to upload that video probably sometime soon. But um, there will be uh, videos regarding uh, Quest 9 uh, coming up very soon as well. So I'm going to end the video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.